Millions of people worldwide celebrated International Women's Day by also supporting A Day Without a Woman. Valley View's Alicia Diegas reports on the gathering in downtown Los Angeles. A woman came to Grand Park instead of going to work or simply staying at home. The gathering drew people of different ages, races, and gender. Hundreds of people are gathered here in front of City Hall in solidarity with International Women's Day. They are showing their support by wearing the color red, enjoying live music, speeches, spoken word, and much more. Red was the unifying color. Many got creative with their t-shirts and posters, and they came for various reasons. Everyone needs to just empower each other, so that's why I'm here today. I want to give a voice to the community, to the oppressed community, the LGBT community, especially women. Um, that's what we're here for. So um, I want to use my voice to the best of my ability. Uh, I'm here to fight for my mother, who's an immigrant myself, as a black woman in this current country, and for every other person who doesn't have a voice outside of this country and all around the world. It makes no sense. Like why any person on this planet should be treated differently than anyone else, yeah. especially with women, especially in our country too. Just the way women are treated compared to men, it's just, it's just, it's weird. It just it freaks me out. I'm here because just being a woman, it's hard in this world and it shouldn't be anymore. It's 2017. Organizers say this rally was put together to continue the momentum from the Women's March in January. Women's groups say they will continue to fight against the attack on women's rights and push forward to ratify the Equal Rights Amendment in a walk on March 26. In downtown Los Angeles, I'm Alicia Diegas for Valley View News.